All right, I'm doing this because it took me so long to find this video after many years of searching for it. Okay, this is my favorite segment on Antiques Roadshow. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. But it came out in 2002, and it's from Seattle, Washington. And this, this really blew my mind. So this is for myself mostly, but I'm going to post it on YouTube later. It's amazing. Ready? Check out what this guy finds. Come on. All right. I found these in an old mining town in Colorado. I actually pronounced Leadville. I'd buy old houses and fix them up, and I uh, did that for many years. I bet this was the only one I ever found a stash of cans that were left there by the workers who built the house. Part of the house was made out of log, and the workers actually hewed the logs out right on the job site. And this was done in 1882. That uh, the wood chips and parts under the house were like six inches thick. Mm -hmm. And when they would eat their lunches, they just threw the cans under instead of taking them somewhere else. If they landed on the wood chips, they were preserved. If they landed in the dirt, they were a little pile of rust. That's amazing. But I found actually 66 cans under this house. But the mice had uh, eaten the labels off of about 25 of them. <laughs> So and these are these are your best examples. Those are the best ones. I do have some duplicates of a few, right. but most of them are one of a kind. Right. And there's three that have dates on them. Right. And the, 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 this is one of them actually. That yes, has that has the oldest date, registered 1876. Actually, you found some other documentation. This is interesting. There's a photograph here from a history book that shows miners tossing cans, and this particular can right here, this bean can, is exactly the same. As this Boston baked beans. Yes, it is. I was. I just found that a few months ago. I was. It's the first time wow. I've ever even seen any of these cans. The tin can label applied to Kansas in this manner was first done in 1876. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. According to your research, from other people that I've talked to, they say about the earliest they've ever seen is around 1890. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of exciting to have uh, a paper one that's 14 years older than that. Right. I've taken wow. them to museums, I've shown them to different people, and they just shake their heads and say, we've never seen anything like this. Yeah. No, and I haven't either. Well, first of all, the graphics are just fantastic. They, know, they are. are. And the colors are, have been preserved beautifully. Chromolithography is the, uh, is the process that allowed this, this vivid color. But usually most of the chromolithography we see is, uh, has survived is in books where the pages have been closed and no light has gotten to them. Um, some of these cans would sell in the range of 400 to eight hundred dollars wow. a piece. For sure. Man. If you average out the collection, I was doing some quick calculating. You have to be looking at a collection that should sell in the range for ten to fourteen thousand dollars. It's pretty so good for discarded it, food cans. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that. I love it. Thank you. That's my favorite. By far. Wow. For sure. What?